Yeah, today I am going to be cooking. This should be fun. The last time that I made something, it tasted like the floor. So basic, okay. We are going to be making snickerdoodles today. And I've only made them once and they actually didn't turn out that bad so I'm hoping that these will be the same. Stop. Frick. So I guess this is a tutorial on how to make snickerdoodles. So basically what you're just gonna do is you're gonna take this flat plate and you're gonna take your whole stick of butter should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should be the whole damn stick. So take your whole damn stick and then put it on the plate. You're gonna take a knife and you're just going to cut your stick into a couple pieces just so you can like soften it up a little bit. Oh my god! Okay, so now that you've got your nice cut up butter, you're just going to pop it in the microwave. 20 seconds, we'll say. Everyone say hi to Peggy! Again, 15 seconds. Ow, ow! Your butter. You're gonna take one cup of granulated sugar. So take your sugar, whatever you got. So there's butter and sugar on there. So put it in your bowl, just like this. Put that butter in there and ow, ow, ow! I've got the whisk. So here's what it looks like right now. And this is what it should look like in the end, so yeah. Okay, so once you've got your fluffy mix, then you're gonna take your milk. I have almond milk because that's all we have right now, but you can do whatever milk you like. Okay. So it could taste a little different if you, oh, okay. So you're just gonna do three, three tablespoons of whatever milk you've got, girl. So once you've got your milk, uh, then you're gonna, you're gonna get your, like the makeup gurus go, vanilla extract, a teaspoon, wait, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. This is one teaspoon, so just do half. That should be good. Once you got your vanilla and your milk and your cream, yes, you're gonna start stirring again. It should be a little easier now because you've got your liquids. So now once you've mixed it all in, you're gonna take your salt and you're gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of salt. Oh my, that was good. Oh my God, okay. Just do that, that should be good and accurate. Oh my God, uh, hold on. If you don't have cream of tartar or whatever, um, also if you don't have eggs, then you, you should follow this recipe. If you don't have cream or whatever, you're gonna use two, teaspoons of baking powder just to make up for it. So just take your baking powder, two teaspoons of this. So once you've got your baking powder in, then you're gonna take your cinnamon. This is the biggest part. You're gonna take your cinnamon. Oh my. Um, let me just wash this again. So you're gonna take your cinnamon and you're gonna do half a, wait, what? That's pretty good. So half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Make sure you get it all out because that's key for sneakers. And then just mix it just a little bit. And then you're gonna take your key thing, your flour, girl. Take your freaking flour. Mm. One and a half. Hold on, we gotta scoop it because that's how you do it. So you're gonna scoop into the mixing because then the flour doesn't set. I learned that from my mom. Thanks, mom. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. So preheat your oven to 350. What? Oh, wait, what? It just says to freeze overnight. Girl, I was gonna eat these tonight. I have never done that in my entire life for making cookies. These are just cookies. 
No one does that for cookies. Yeah, you should cool it. But see, the thing is, is that it's not that bad because you just, oh my God. So you're just gonna mix it up like a regular person and then you're gonna leave it in the bowl and put it in the freezer for half an hour. But while you're waiting for it, if for half an hour, you're gonna make the, the cinnamon sugar topping thing, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So let me just finish mixing the dough. Ooh, okay. We are just going to make the sugar cinnamon thing, whatever you would call it, the mix, whatever you want to call it. So let me just fast forward because it's boring. Now that you have frozen your cookie dough, then you're just gonna take a spoon. I'm gonna get a spoon. Take your spoon and just get like a spoonful and a little more. This thing, and then you're just gonna roll it in there, I think. So step one, uh, oven your cook. I mean, cook your oven, whatever. Then spray your pan, and then you're gonna take your sugar-coated cookie and land it on the thing, and then just keep doing that. I just put my cookies in the oven, and let's see how they look. Voila, you can't see anything. I'll just take a picture when I'm done because I'm getting bored of just doing nothing. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, okay, that's it.